Miss Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com and last Christmas, before the run-up to Christmas, I actually created this bag and it's my triangle topped bag and it was created for a three pack of the Keurig K-Cups. Well, I was asked maybe to do a smaller size, maybe a size for a favor and this is what I came up with and I think this is so sweet. Now, you start with a piece of uh, cardstock or paper that is six by six and for the triangle handles, you need a piece of coordinating cardstock or paper that is two and a half by two and a half. And then you just need whatever you want for your sentiments. And I'm using um, some cardstock with a little bit of the same pink for the handle for my sentiment. And then some ribbon to tie it with. But it goes very quickly because the base of the bag has been around for a while. And it's pretty easy to do. They can be made quickly and actually stored flat. I have mine tied together at this point, but if you don't uh, tie it together, you can actually store it flat. So you can make a bunch of these and have them already. All right, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so um, we are going to start with our piece of six by six paper and score it at one and a half inches and four and a half inches. Then turn it around the other way and score it at two and a half inches and three and a half inches. All right, so just go ahead and fold your score lines. And these two folds should meet in the middle. On this side, and those are the, the one and a half and the four and a half inch score line. And then the other should result in the bottom of the bag, which is one inch wide. All right, so go ahead and turn it so that one inch strip is horizontal and the one and a half inch and the four and a half inch score lines are vertical and close those down. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pivot where this score line meets this score line. We're gonna pivot this score out to that fold line. So put your finger right where that score line meets and then just pivot that fold out to this fold line and press down and create a crease, okay? So we have this, this score line and this score line where we're folded. And remember, just hold that down and pivot that fold out to meet this other fold right there. And we're gonna repeat that for all four of our uh, sides, all, all four of the fold lines. Okay, so this is what you have. And we're going to go ahead and finish that by just putting glue across these, um, the top parts on both ends, just to hold that in place. And you can use whatever strong adhesive you want. And you don't want these areas in here where it's in between these folds and the one inch, you don't want to put any adhesive on those because that was that's what opens up into our box. All right, so go ahead and put that down, and this is what this is what it does. Whoops. And this is how it opens. So I'm gonna take a minute and just go ahead and reinforce those fold lines. And then you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just reinforcing these uh, fold lines that we did when we pivoted this the score lines going across to the side. All right, so this is what we have. And now we're gonna do the handles. Okay, so I have my three inch by three inch square of paper, and uh, I might have said two and a half inch before, but this is three inches by three inches, and I'm going to cut it diagonally. Now you could fold it point to point and cut along the fold line if you want, but in order to get a better cut, I'm just gonna put my two opposite corners on the cut line and then I'm gonna land my blade somewhere in the middle and then go both ways. If I try to pull it down on one of the ends, sometimes it crunches it down and doesn't cut it. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and score a half an inch mark. So what I'm gonna do is move this diagonal over to that half an inch score line and just score a half an inch from the uh, side of the, or from the diagonal of the triangle now. Same with this one. And 
And this just helps me to line up the top of my bag when I'm gluing it on here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and round the top corners of these. I like having it rounded on the top. And then I'll flip it over because I want the uh, pink side out. And I'll take the top of my bag and I will just line it up and center it between the two sides here. So I'm going to put some glue all the way from the one corner to the other um, on alongside of the score line that I just made. And let me use some Tombow. And you can go right to the point because we're going to curl the points around and secure them to the back of the bag. All right. So I have glue on here inside of this score line. You can see the score line. And I'm going to stick to me. Actually, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to line this line up right with the score line of the bag and center it in that triangle. Okay. So I've got it lined up in there, and the last thing I'm going to do is just to roll that little little triangle around and secure it to the back of the bag. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the front. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other end. Okay, so this is what we have, a very sweet little bag. All right, and this is where we could store it flat too. If you wanted to make a bunch of them at this stage, they'll just go ahead and sit flat. You can even put your little tag on there and punch your holes for your ribbon, but just not put the ribbon or tie the ribbon through. All right, so um, the last thing I'm going to do is actually line my handles up and I'm gonna punch a little circle here. And I have a um, three quarter inch circle punch. The other one I used a uh, half an inch on, but I think I wanted it a little bit bigger. So holding these together, I'm going to slide this down. And I have my little hole. Okay, now when you get ready to give them, if you want to put a little glue here and here and here and here just to hold it open like that, you can go ahead and do that. But because I'm going to store them flat for a while yet, I'm not, not doing that one. All right. So I'm going to use a 1 8 inch white ribbon to secure my um, bag. And I'll hold these together. And what I'm going to do is just sneak in right on this score line. Yeah, it's right above where the this bag ends on there, about maybe half an inch to a three quarter of an inch in with my one eighth of an inch punch. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and use some white twine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use this stamp set again from Lawn Fawn. And this is the um, Tiny Tag Sayings. And it's a lot of fun because there are some uh, tag dies that go with it. Uh, there are also some fall and some um, winter ones that go with it as well. And they're just fun little sentiments. And you can find them for Christmas or for any time of year, really. And today I'm going to use the For You. And I'll use some old olive because I think it matches the green in there. And we'll stamp it right on that light pink, the same color I used for the handle. <clears throat> I'm going to punch it out with a one inch circle punch. And then I'm going to use a 1 and 1 8 inch scallop circle punch to punch a little bit darker pink. And I think this one's a blushing bride, but it matches this uh, paper really well. 
And this paper I had actually gotten from one of the uh, Simon Says Stamp card kits. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. I just think it's really soft and pretty. But I'm sure that you can find ones that you like as well. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this one to that. And then I'm going to use a couple of glue dots just to go ahead and put that underneath my bow. I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots right behind the top part of it. And I'll let the bottom part kind of swing free. And get my fingers behind there to push it on. Nope, I think I'm going to try, trim my tails just a little shorter. All right, what do you think? Isn't that very sweet? Let me bring my other one back in. And because of the base of the bag is used with a six by six inch paper and the top part of the bag is actually a three by three inch square, you can actually kind of match up a whole paper stack of six by six and make a whole bunch of these. So I hope you enjoyed the project today, a mini version of my triangle top bag. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified of new videos as I upload them. For more information, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com. And as always, until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye!